It's called Christina... No, what? That's the author's name. What are you doing? The fact that I can't even read my own writing is a problem for this video because how am I supposed to tell you about these books when I can't read the dang writing? <sighs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my most anticipated books for June 2017. I have a total of six books that I'm anticipating. Hopefully they are not on your radar yet. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have on my list is a new adult romance contemporary-ish book, and it is called Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren, and this is supposed to come out June 6, 2017. This book follows Carter and Evie who meet at their friend's Halloween party and instantly hit it off when they realize that they are both top high-performing agents at competing firms and that their two companies are merging together, causing them to have to fight for one position. Their budding romance turns into an all-out sabotage of war. I just think that this book sounds like it would be really funny and cute. So, your girl is wanting some contemporary in her life for once, so your girl is excited for this one. And also, I really like the ombre on the cover, so... The next book on my list is called Every Last Lie by Mary Cooper. Probably saying that wrong. But this was come out June 27th, 2017. This book follows Clara Solberg, whose husband Nick and four-year-old daughter are in a car crash one day, which causes Maisie, their daughter, to be completely fine, but the husband Nick is killed on impact. The car crash is ruled an accident, which causes Clara to be tormented by her grief daily, especially when Maisie begins to have night terrors that make Clara believe that it may not have been an accident after all and somebody was actually after Nick. Clara decides to begin her own investigation of the crash and begins to discover things that may lead to the uncovering of some secrets that Nick was hiding. I'm actually so intrigued by this book. It's told in alternating points of view between Clara during her investigation and Nick during the last few months of his life. So I think that's going to be a super cool concept and I'm very excited about it. The next book is Bad Romance by Heather Dementria and this is supposed to come out June 13th, 2017. This book follows a girl named Grace who wants to escape her abusive household and that's when she meets a man named Gavin and falls in love. Her relationship with Gavin quickly turns into a jail that she can't escape. I think that this sounds awesome. You know you're gonna love herself some thriller aspects in a novel and this cover is just gorgeous and I'm just really excited about this. I'm assuming that it's kind of like a thriller, honestly, I don't know. But your girl is excited. The next book is called Dividing Eden and this is by Joelle. I, I don't know how to say this last name, but this woman wrote this book. And it is supposed to come out June 6, 2017. This book follows twins Carries and Andreas. They've never had to think about who is going to rule Eden because their older brother has always been the next for the throne. That is, until he is murdered one day. Now the twins must compete for the throne but they have always protected each other so they're not 100% sure how this battle is going to take place and who is going to turn against who first. I just think that it sounds cool. The cover is gorgeous and I would love to just have it on my shelf just to have it on my shelf because it's so pretty but I think that the story sounds super cool. Kind of like Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake, is that right? I don't know if that's the author but it kind of sounds like that to me so I'm kind of intrigued. The next book is called Follow Me Back by A.V. Geiger probably saying that one wrong too. But, but this is supposed to come out June 6th, 2017, and it follows Tessa Hart, who has agoraphobia, meaning that she can't leave her house because she's scared, and she decides to find solace in the online community for a superstar named Eric. Eric Thorne is scared of his obsessive fans and it doesn't help that his PR team encourages their behavior. When one of his fellow pop stars is murdered by a fan, Eric decides that he is going to sabotage his own online image and take down one of his top followers who just so happens to be Tessa Hart. Eric and Tessa unexpectedly form a online relationship and they decide that they're going to meet in real life. When they end up meeting in real life, what should have been the best episode of Catfish yet turns into something deadly. Can we just, can we, it sounds so cool to me. And it's told all in tweets and DMs and police reports, so like different mediums, which was like night film. And you know your girl loves herself some night film, so I'm so excited for this book. It sounds so cool and right up my alley. My sixth and final book is called He Said, She Said by Erin Kelly, and this is supposed to come out June 6, 2017 as well. This book follows Laura and her boyfriend named Kit, who witnessed a brutal attack on a victim and decide to call the police. Now 15 years later, they are scared that they are being followed.
followed, and they realize that, that things are always lurking in the dark. That's all the synopsis really said. I am hoping that this is like a stalkerish book because you grow love herself some stalkers. Alright guys, so those were my six most anticipated reads for June 2017. Honestly, there were a lot of thrillers on the Goodreads list that I was looking at, so I could have picked a lot more than six, but I was like, limit yourself, Jan, or you're gonna talk for a million years, and then you're just gonna be annoying, and nobody's gonna want to watch your video. So, I only picked six. I tried to pick ones that big booktubers don't talk about, that I haven't seen on anybody's channels yet, so hopefully you find something that you like. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!